Good evening and welcome to tonight's edition of Late Night Sauce. It's uh, June 24th, getting ready for 4th of July next week. And uh, my name's Mario, I'm here with Noah, and we got two lovely ladies tonight here, uh, very veterans in the uh, bar industry here. We have Hillary Madsen and Trish Harley. Welcome to the show, girls. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to try to keep this PG-13 because I know you guys have, uh, you know, a lot of history with the uh, the bar scene, so. Yeah. Mm. We're not going to um, get into it directly, but um, let's get a little background on you. Trish, what was your first restaurant job you ever worked at? It was York Steakhouse. York Steakhouse. Where was that? I know that place. At the Warwick Mall. Inside the mall, yeah. Yes. And it, it was near, like, um, yes. it, it wasn't, what the hell was that? The Ground Round. You worked at the Ground Round? No. No. <laughs> I was just saying, no. I think the Ground Round went out of business by the time you started working. No. Isn't that where No, it York was? Steakhouse. No, no. York oh. Steakhouse was like where Macy's is now, right? Yes. Oh, no. Yes. It was a Target. You walked in that long way yeah. to walk in. It was right there on the right. York Steakhouse was your first job. No one was even born when that place went out of business. No My mother York said to either. me, right? <laughs> walk in and get a job yeah. the day I turned 16. And I walked, that was the first place I walked really? into when I got a job. Good for yeah. you. All right. York Steakhouse. Where'd you work? Hillary? So they do line tips. Really? Pal's Restaurant. Pal's Restaurant was your first job? I thought you worked um, at Post Office Cafe first. No. Pal's You're first. You were doing Pal's and Post Office Cafe yes. at the same time? Same time. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yep. Coat check. I was a Hillary, coat check Hillary, girl too. Hillary was coat check at Post Service Cafe when I first met. I did not know. Till I got fired. Till I got fired. She got I, fired. I was a coat check girl there too. I remember that. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I forgot about. Um, I, I don't know why I thought you went to Post Post Office Cafe to Pals. I thought I know you there at the same time. Yeah, Hillary got um, let go of her position as a coat check girl for drinking underage at an employee party. That's yeah. Funny. Which was, not, which, which was not her Cambio. fault because the owner actually gave her the booze and then found out later she was underage. But I feel like it was John Cambio's fault. No, John Cambio gave you the booze, but like Billy yelled at him for not checking your ID. Right. And he goes, why didn't you check your ID? You were standing next to me. <laughs> it was, whatever. It was. I, I was at the party myself. I, just, I, was, I was having was, a great I time. Was I was having a great time myself. But. Canned. Okay, so you both worked at Powell's Restaurant for the mm-hmm. uh, the great man, Ronnie Beware. No, I don't know if you ever met him, but... Uh, ah. Ryan's a good dude. Is he the guy he, he's that the guy. We're not going to talk yeah. about what he did, but yeah, he's the guy. He's the guy that did he that. He does yeah. carpets yeah. as well. He has like the old wife. He's a carpet wife. business. Mm-hmm. He has the what? His wife was wicked old. I just saw him. Ronnie's wife was old? <laughs> he, like, came Which out. one? If, what, oh. <laughs> I told you we're not going to do that tonight. Oh, right. All right. right. No, the, just like, kidding, Ronnie. He, he's the guy who like was, uh, who came in like how, like the Furlins and the Hazes that one time. Yes. Did he come in with them once? Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah, probably, yeah, yeah. yes. Glasses. They old, always uh, went to Pals. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. let me ask you this, Trish, because like you had York Steakhouse and you, did you go to Blue Parrot right after that? No. Where'd you go in between? Um, oh, Blue Parrot. I probably blue, went to Joe's Parrot. Place. Do you remember Joe's Place? The one near the mall? And then I worked at Glenn's Pub, which was the station. The okay. station? Yeah. It was Glenn's Pub. Okay. You're forgetting how old I am, Mario. You're only a few years older than me. You're not um, that much older than me, so. Joe's place was mm. in where Target is now. I am too. Right. Then I went to, then I went to the Crown Plaza. Okay. Holly, the Blue Parrot. Blue Parrot is where Water Street Bar and Grill is now. Then that I the went, the then I went to... Um, well, I worked at Frank Frankie's place, the old end zone. Remember you worked for Frank. You had Frankie's. Remember he had a restaurant there. I knew. I never. I never went there. I, I knew I of there. the place. You worked there. My yes. new favorite place. Yep. The end zone's your new favorite place. Mm-hmm. They have eggs, bacon. Eggs till and bacon. eleven oh, o'clock at till night. Till eleven o'clock at night, Tuesday they serve, through Saturday. They serve breakfast Tuesday through all Saturday. day. All day they serve breakfast. All there day at the end zone. Yep. I'm about to, that's smart. Go to the end zone. Yeah. Oh, wow. you can't go in My new eggs favorite and bacon. place. I mean, what? Denny's? Hey, like, do you like, remember? Right? When they serve. Oh. Yeah. Do you remember McKinley's used to be that Maritime. breakfast place? Maritime. Yeah. I never went there, but I heard Dad's. about the place. Yeah. Dad's. This place, so McKinley's before and it was you McKinley's. You get special juice? Yeah, like in other words, they weren't allowed to serve alcohol, but you asked for the special juice, it gave you booze. <laughs> yeah. And it, it, was was somehow, it, it was somehow juice. tied in, it was tied into the bill somehow. It, like, was, it wasn't on the bill, but it was like tied into the cost of the pancakes or something. So I was there one night after the Blue Parrot, and Pop was like, can you do the register? I'm like serving coffee. 
checking out people and yes. having special juice. It was hysterical. You didn't work there. No, no, no. It, it was like, no. It was like no. restaurant, was restaurant employees <laughs> would go there after their shift. They would I'm like, Dad, I'm in the, I'm morning, in the register. The yeah. Is that yeah. he okay? He put in work. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And so, then he was the hot dog man. Really? On first step. That's the guy that owned it? I did not know that. I never yes. went there. I just knew of the place. Yes. I never went there. Okay. Like, oh, it was a right, cool right, spot. Right after you take a left on the first half at the light, and okay. it's the hot dog the hot dog guy. The uh, light, like the one that's like posted up next to the school? Like, yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, no shit. Yeah. No, yes. Really? Oh, it's crazy. He had <laughs> a breakfast. Was it McKinley's? It wasn't yeah. called McKinley's. It was called Mary but, Time. But that's yeah. where it was. Well, they though, called it right? Mary Muffin or Mary Time. I don't know. Yeah. Ferruccio called it something weird all the time. The yeah. Mary Muffin? Mary Muffin, Mary, Mary Muffin. Muffin, I don't know. Mary well, that's because Ferruccio had a Mary Time there. I'm sure he did. I'm sure you all did back then. But <laughs> Oh, yes, we did. Yes. So, yeah, Trish was able to uh, have the privilege of working with two of my good friends bartending. Uh, yes. Who are now currently no longer bartending. One is a uh, police officer. Another one's a retired fireman. But yes. those two guys broke me into a bartending yeah. into a whole different world that day. Those guys are the best guys you could bartend with. They were. It was kind of like working with Gooby upstairs. Yeah. But with more physical and like violence. In other words, like oh when they, they would bump into each other on purpose and punch each, you. They would take drink orders from customers and just punch each other uh-huh. in the nuts while they were talking to a customer. Like not even kidding, and people just laughed. Nobody, nobody yelped I mean, you. Nobody called the manager over. They just laughed at them. So like, it's kind of funny. It, yeah, not, not funny. those guys. Those guys were violent with each other, <laughs> and it was just with them too. They wouldn't bother me. They never hit me. They, it was just weird. They were like brothers bartending, and just yeah. hitting each other in the nuts as hard as they could while you were bartending. Now, remember how we used to put the names on the checks yeah. at the grill? That was a nightmare. Yeah. So at the grill, like if you, you were this, ugly but had big tits. Your name was Ugly Girl with Big Tits. That was the name on your check. That's all I thought. One time, That's a long check. one time he was in a bad mood, and he just made every every tab was under Cockhead, and we're trying to give people their tabs, and it was like forty tabs with the name Cockhead, and it took forever to give people their checks, and Demuccio would get pissed, like cut it out, where's it? <laughs> it was so bad, and he couldn't find so it. So that, that's the kind of bartending background Trish came from. Got now, Hiller, you jumped into Powell's restaurant. That's a whole different world over there. That's like the Twin Oaks of East Greenwich back in the day, wasn't it? Yes. Oh, yeah. According sure to Mike, Mike Menudo, Mike Menudo named Powell's the Twin Oaks of East Greenwich. Okay. And, uh, you know, Ronnie. It was voted, Ronnie, it was voted in Rhode Island Monthly uh, best. Um, neighborhood, something, neighborhood. Yeah, no. it was something like small. Uh, it was best or, something. So, I mean, yeah. you know, it, yeah. it had to be good. Back when we worked there, yes. Yeah. That's how I met Hillary. Ah, uh, Hillary. Hillary had pals. Yeah, hell dog. So, so, Hillary, so obviously pals is a different beast. You know, and Trish, you're dealing with regulars there every single day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What was, don't mention names, <laughs> what was the craziest regular you had that when you walked in the door, your vagina would sweat? <laughs> Oh, oh gosh! Yeah. No. I don't know that. that like, describe, describe. I don't know. You that trying that to tell me every happened. single regular you ever dealt with, you loved walking in the door? There's not one customer that make you cringe when they would walk in. That would I make mean, my cringing. In you know, like, oh, you know, like, your like, vagina sweat is a good thing or a bad thing? Bad thing. Like, oh my oh. god, I can't believe oh, that hair. I like, thought that was a good thing. No, no, no. <laughs> well, okay, no, that would be. That, that would be vagina wet, not sweat. I, I understand the misconception. Yeah, it's like a letter off. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. My bad. Okay. Yeah. yeah, in other words, like, basically, when, like, like if you said, what, name a bar, a bar guest that would make your balls cringe, like, to guys, like, oh, I can't believe that fucking hair. Like, I can't believe that. Like, what, what was one of the things that that customer did that would drive you nuts when they would come into your place? At uh, Pals. At Pals? Because I'm guessing, I've, I've been in there a few times over the years. I'm guessing, like, can I change? Because they had the big giant TV behind the bar. It was when they were not talking flat screen. We we're talking like the old school flat screens that were like eighty feet thick. You yes. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like I'm guessing. Like, I felt like a lot of people watch the news at that place. Yeah. Yeah. Now, did you ever have somebody? Somebody's watching the news, and somebody's like, "Oh, can we put the game on?" And like, you made that one person. No, oh, I'm watching the news. You can. Would, did people fight over the TV in that place? I remember certain priests that would do that. Really? Yes. They would so- fight over the TV. Yes, he did not like to watch Fox News. <laughs> Fox News directly. No other news, just Fox News. Did not like to watch Fox okay. News. I feel like priests like Fox, Fox News. Right? No. no, 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 no. Priests like CNN. 
<laughs> yeah. You know what? That makes a lot of sense. That's why we're not allowed to put news on the TVs here, except for ESPN. Know. Yeah. I'll never forget. It's, she I got, always I, have sports. Sue Lemoy freaked out on me. Change the TV. I'm like, sorry, Sue. I didn't know. Like, and there's news on, and she's just yelling at me. And, I was, and now I found out why, because political stuff is just bad. With, but, so, there was, right. so you never had any customer, like female oh. customers or male customers? I'm trying to think. Oh, remember What that? would they do? Remember that chick that... Um, I'll tell you a story. She had a Velcro shirt on. It was a collared shirt, Velcro. Velcro. And she liked the bartender that I used to work with on Friday nights. And she went Eric? like this. Was yes. it Eric? Not Eric. mentioning names, but yes. Eric. Yes. It was Eric. So we're mentioning names of the bartender. We're not mentioning names of the customer. That, oh, uh, right. It was yeah. Eric, Eric the bartender. Yeah, Eric the bartender, yeah. Cool guy. Nice guy. I she, love Eric. Oh, you like whipped off her Velcro shirt? You like these? Did she have a bra on or was she bare? She had a bra on. Did he like them? No. No, they weren't good? Too old. She was too old. <laughs> she was too old. She was too old? That's why he didn't like them? Or the, the boobs were too old? She was oh. just kind of an oh. asshole. Oh, okay. She was trying to get attention? Yes. Did she ever come in the safe house? I'd like to meet her. Yes. She does come in here. I think you might know her. I might know her. Okay. Oh. Well, we'll talk about that one later. Yes. I, <laughs> I would love to... Who is... No, the kids say names. yeah. As MQ would say, that's a talk for another time, Mario. Mario. Oh, boy. It's a good mic. It, it, it picks it up. Are we still on? Yes. I, so like, what else do you want to talk about? What? I have another story. <laughs> I have a story. What are you Mario's what? asking the questions. <laughs> Oh, right. You're Mario. Asking, take yeah, you know. Mario. Right here. Um, What's your story, Trish? Now I'm interested. Because, like, if you have one ready to go. Let's hear a story. Let's hear a story. I have a story. Lot of you have a story. It better not be a bad story because you brought it up. Like, I have uh, a lot of stories. Do you right? want to so hear a story about the Holly at the Crossings? I feel like you should just give us a story. I can't pick All right. a story. So, right. I used to do Sunday brunch Holly at the Crossings when. The Crossings? What's the Crossings? No idea what the Crossings it's the Crown hotel. Plaza. It's the Crown Plaza now. Oh, okay. So gotcha. these sure. the bingo people would come because they would go to bingo. What a crowd! It was the bingo oh, crowd. The bingo crowd. <laughs> it was terrible. So really they'd imagine. stay there and they would go play bingo before Foxwoods was Foxwoods. Okay. Gotcha. So they come on Sundays. So these I did um, like a banquet for them the next day. They had breakfast in this woman was walking with her plate like this and walked right into the pool. Do you know what she's walking Walked into a pool? And then her like wig, a, like a, like and then her like wig water? fell off. Like water? Like, pool? Like, 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 was it a pool? Like a, like a swimming, swimming pool? pool? Yes. Like a fa- yes. Damn. And, a wig, like, and There was so many of these people that it was around the atrium and the pool and she just wasn't looking and she walked in, fell in the pool and then her wig came off so she grabbed her plate and her wig, put the wig back on, and then went just walked this. around in wet clothes. Yeah. Did the plate hit the wall? Like nothing happened. Like she just walked around in wet clothes, and then she just finished. But her like, wig fell off. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in that situation? I don't even know. Like, do you have a backup wig in the car? How's that work? No, she just plopped it. Yeah, right how does back that work in real life? I mean, I that's why I never so, wanted, that that's I never wanted to get a toupee because I want to know if I lost a toupee. Do you guys know like Foxwoods was legit? Just a bingo reservation yes, back yes. in the day. I didn't know that. And they all would bust them in Pennsylvania. Yeah. I think they were all from, a lot of them were from New York, Pennsylvania. And they would stay there and they would, they would go to bingo the next day. Oh, okay. And that's why we waited on them. And I don't know if I could like wake up for bingo. Like, I don't know if that's like, like stay overnight for bingo. I don't know if I could do it. I had a great time there though. That was a good place to work. Like, if there was a wedding the night before, yeah. and we had to do the bingo people, and there was leftover, like, shots, or, like, um Leftover food. shots, you just be doing them? Yes. Hey, <laughs> at, like, 7 o'clock shots. in the morning. Yeah, they do that. Yeah. They have a thing. Yeah. So, Hillary, it was a good place. so, um, oh. question for you there. What's one of the weirdest requests from a customer you ever got as a bartender? Like as far as, like, a drink? For or like, a for like drink food. or a food, or just even anything. Like a weird sandwich. One of the weirdest things. Weird like what's sandwich or what's weird one of the weirdest drink? things that you can, you can never forget? Like, it, it still haunts you at night when you're sleeping. Like, from a creepy customer. Because all the time, they had never had any creepy customers. 
Everybody's had creepy customers. I had a lot at the airport, but like. Airport, okay. You're at the airport? Yeah, she's at the uh, airport. Yeah, yeah. she's at the airport. I worked at the she airport. She was a TF well, I mean, yeah, you worked at the airport. Bartending. Like, I, mean, like, I got TF3. all walks where? of life. Where? All walks of life over there. But where, though? TGI Fridays at the airport. Friday. Green. Fridays at Nobody the airport that. and the Oyster Fridays. Bar. I didn't know if you were talking about Fridays like the day. Oh, no, no. no. TGI Fridays. Friday. TGI Fridays. Friday. 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 Yes. Yeah. You know? I, fig- I feel like TGI Fridays has some of the fucking creepiest customers on the planet. Yeah, now, dude. mind you, I met my wife at TGI Fridays. Well, I didn't really meet her. At- <laughs> my wife worked at TGI Fridays, and I met her through TGI Fridays employees in my defense. But when I used to go visit her at the TGI Fridays she worked at, there were some creepy-ass people that go there. So I can imagine. So what was one of the creepiest things that happened to you at the airport? Oh, God. It was what? What region was this person from? What, did he tell you, like from the south or were they from north? Here leaving? Where were they going? Were they going to Europe? Like to connecting I have flights? Stage fright. I don't. I don't even know. Like stage I, gotta, fright. I have to. Think yeah, she has PSD. PSD in the bar scene. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted this podcast. You tell us, Hillary. All right. What are you hiding? I mean, I, feel- I had some crazy. I'm going to tell you a good Billy Asher story. No, no, <laughs> no names. No, Billy Asher was the good guy. Oh, what, oh, what Billy, you know what, Billy Asher listens to the podcast. Let's South. talk about Billy Asher. Southwest. Billy Asher's off, his, his wife used to bar to me at the Grill on Main and Billy Asher's, her husband, and he used to work at uh, Southwest? Southwest. Yes. He was a yeah. Southwest employee. So I had a guy come in and he wanted shots. I didn't realize how drunk he was before I gave how him the shots. Was what, 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 what time of day was, was it? it? Uh, it's the airport. It could probably be Probably like 11 a.m. Okay. Accurate. It's the airport. Yeah. Right? That's, that's basically yeah. drinking time. Yeah. So he comes yeah, in, especially time. At airport. orders shots, and then I'm busy, and he's asking me to pay, and I'm, I go, I get him the bill. Is he and... waving shit at you? Yeah. Like, is he doing the wave? Like, yeah. Cash or a card? Because like, cash, like, at waving least waves. Waving like, the, card, like, um, really... the bill. No, waving the bill at the me. The bill? That's terrible. Yep. Uh, so, yeah. okay. Like come on. Terrible. So I'll come over there. Listeners, do not wave over, the bill, listeners. And he goes, he goes... I got to go make my flight, blah, blah, blah. So all irritated with me. Why are you getting shots at And then he won't pay the bill because he says he has to go. So he just leaves. So. What do you do then? Do you stop them from getting Yeah, how do you do that at the airport? Yeah. Like, can you you stop them? Is that a thing? Because that'd be cool. Oh, it absolutely is. It is a thing. Especially when you know someone that works for the airline. Oh, boom. Here we go. Billy Asher. Billy Asher. Oh, he's yeah. a Southwest Full guy. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. So the guy is like, I'm not paying my bill, blah, blah, blah. Like, he flipped out on me. It was like weird. Now I have a full bar. And I'm yeah. like, you know what? I don't even care. Everyone's airport. watching me. And they're like, what? People are offering to pay his tab. That means people are going to say How do you feel about something like that? that and I don't want to change the subject of the story, but are you for that or against it? What? If people people try to pay for the tab that's being an pays asshole. For them, like, oh, they're, they're being shitty. Like, I'll just pay for it. Like, I would never make another customer pay for it. Okay. Well, we're going to continue that conversation. I feel she's like done as long well as the yeah. tab is paid. Yeah. I want to hear the rest of the story. Then we're going to talk about that conversation. Yeah. So, I want to do that. Yes. That's a, that's a good So topic. he tells me to F off, basically. Uh, of course. So it's now I have a full bar. Said that to you. I have no managers around. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to leave this bar because I effing hate this guy. Yeah. Hate his guy. It's the principal at this point yep. now. Yep. It is. So he's standing mm-hmm. in line in the southwest area. I bet he is, yeah. And I see Billy. I go, Billy. <laughs> this guy is drunk, did not pay his tab, and he's swearing at me in the middle of the thing. Next thing you know. It's a family restaurant. You yeah. can be swearing. So I leave. I family leave. Airport. I just leave it in <laughs> Billy's hands. I leave. I go back to the bar. Next thing you know, the guy comes up with the airport police. Ooh. They make him pay the tab. And he didn't get on his flight. He didn't get on the flight because he was drunk. He did not get on his flight. Do you think Billy Asher drunk. had a like pedal underneath the thing, like the bank robbers? <laughs> Like what? when somebody robs a bank, the tellers have the press. The, and the oh, they secu- summon the security. Yeah. Did they, have, like, did the they summon yeah, security like, at the airport? Silent alarm. Yeah, you think that's what no. happened? He just told the Southwest employees, like, this guy is drunk. He was absolutely wasted, being okay. an asshole to me. Okay. He didn't get on. Fine. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's that's a great story. I can't wait to see Billy Ashton talk. Well, hopefully, he's listening to the podcast. He claims he does. I don't <laughs> think he is. But he Billy, will this time. Billy Asher. Billy Asher. So let's, talk, let's talk about this. When you have a drunk customer or an irate customer being a jerk, 
How do you feel about people who want to pay their tab just to get them out of the building? Noah, go. Uh, I hate it, personally. I mean, like, why are you here if you're not going to pay your bill? I mean, it, it's, it's, it shouldn't be... I feel bad for whoever wants to pay for it. Because like hey, they're being a nuisance, and you're and you're and you know what you're doing? You're feeding into it. You're telling them that it's it's okay. Right. I would never pay a tab for Not a drunk life. idiot. Not in my life. If I knew the drunk would idiot you? personally, me. No, never. Me. No. I would never. It depends. Well, I understand I mean, that, but what if you're trying to help the bartender just get the guy out of the building? I know, but my work would have never made me pay for it. It's a tough situation. I pretended that my work would have made me pay for it just because they were being a douchebag, but. I don't know how I would react. I haven't really been around that situation as a customer. I've been around that situation as a bartender, but I don't know if I see a girl that's getting her balls busted by some drunk idiot, and well, that's it's, not getting the same to, it's, situation. it's getting to the point where, like, you know, and they just want to pay the bill. It's getting to the point where it's like, you know what? Give me the bill. I'll pay it. Just get the fuck out of the building to make that girl feel better and get away with, you know. I just feel like sometimes you make it worse by doing that because then the guy's going to come back and do it again and again. But at the same time, you also just want, if you're trying to relax and have a drink after working, and you you don't want to hear that shit neither. So I feel like it's a no-win situation. Right. That's what I think. So I don't know how I would handle something like that. Because I've had that happen to me a couple weeks ago upstairs. Luckily, it was one of those things. It happened at the trap a couple weeks ago. And it was one of those things where it was like, it was so busy, you know, we really had to deal with it. But the people that were picking up the tab were friends of theirs, and we had to get them out of the building. So if if that was different, but if, like if they're acquainted, that doesn't count. If doesn't they count. like came together, if they know okay. each other well, if like anything like that, that does not count. They can fucking pay for okay. sure because because they know that they're assholes. Okay. So like and, and, and they're here to. No, enable. you're right. You're right. right. But, I, I just you know sometimes you see these little girls that are bartending, or you see these you know hardworking women bartending, you get that one drunk idiot. That's making it hard for everybody. I, I just I want to know what I would do because I feel like you're enabling them or you're making things worse or you think you're helping I'd and you're not. I never offer to pay a tip. Well, I think you sh- you should it. never. I think you, I think you tried to once, didn't you? No, never. No? For a not drunk me. idiot, no never. Way. I thought you no did. No way. No. No. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Too many nights, Hillary. If you guys drinking with me, I can't. We go back to the early 2000s even yeah. well me and Trish go back to the 90s but Hillary in the early 2000s I can't the 90s I can't. are you sure about I, I started that? in 97 <laughs> I started the East Grinch in 97 so now you're already there so I don't want to hear it from you so do you remember Hillary and I beating you at the grill the old grill beating me meeting you there yes obviously obviously I definitely heard beating I heard. Do you want to say any <laughs> questions about that? Oh boy, here, she, the, here we go. Trish is dr- dying That's to talk about. No, she's dying to talk about this story, and you know it's a great story to tell. We should story. tell it. What's so, the story? Trish? Oh, there's don't, quite don't, a few. Don't, don't there's quite a few. No prefaces. I don't know which Mario one I should a, say. Mario has a story. In Mario mind. asks some questions. It's yes, same, <laughs> Mario, you no, asked. No, the it's, it's the same story they've been trying to talk about questions. for 20 minutes. Uh, no, no but do you remember? No one can ask questions as well. Yes, we used to come in on Monday nights. They right? would come in on Monday nights after yep. work every Monday and sit at my bar and mm-hmm. just slug down Coors Lights and Miller Lights and smoke and whatever the hell they were doing. Yeah, that's, you can smoke, that's when you can you smoke can in smoke bars back then. then. You still smoke oh, in bars back yeah. then. No, you would have hated yeah. cleaning ashtrays. Yeah. I, I, I don't know days. what was worth clean, worse: cleaning ashtrays <laughs> or the customers who never smoke or that are half drunk. Me and Hillary? Saying, uh, "Ask that person if I can have a cigarette." Well, no, and then it'd be the one customer. Go, go, you had the one customer be like, "Go fuck yourself, buy your own pack." You know, like that. That was the worst part of bartending yeah. back then. Was like yeah. the cigarettes. It wasn't even drinks. It was cigarettes. Like I don't smoke. Let me see if I can have a cigarette off them. Like no, you go ask them. It was a nightmare. No, Hillary and Trish want to tell a story, which is a funny story. And, uh, you know, no, this might make you uncomfortable. I don't know. Will it? It I could. Don't I don't know. Okay. So before before you were born... Um, <laughs> Uh, in the nine, late 90s. It had, to be, it had to be 97 because I was there in 98. So. Uh, it wasn't that. Okay, this, this, I want to say this is like 2001. So I wasn't no, that born. McKinley's was open. McKinley's had opened in 2003. Yes. So we're gonna go 2003. That. It might have been right before McKinley's open, but that Definitely this, this person was it before the Red Sox won the World Series. Yes, it was. All that right. was 2004. Right. Yeah. So, so let's go with 2000. Okay. So, so before Sounds the good. internet, before the internet was a big thing, before social media was even invented, before um, cell phones could even text. Okay. There was a group of people that would go out drinking in East Greenwich area and. Uh, there was people that were drinking East Grand Area, sure. and um, 
they would make it like an effort to see if they could, um, you know, coerce single men or single women to go back to their homes <laughs> and engage in sexual intercourse. Also known as swinging. Swinging? Okay. It was swinging. Okay. Swinging was... And that, and say back then, swinging was like, whoa, it was kind I mean, of awkward. It's time. Now, it's now, all, it's now, it's nowadays, normal. it's normal. It's normal. There's, no, there's no more swinging anymore. Nowadays, it's just, it's just accepted. It's part of life. Yeah. yeah. Right? In 2024, swinging isn't even a thing. So uh, there was a gentleman that was dating. He was an older oh. gentleman dating a... Uh, well, how old was that girl? 22, 23? He yeah. was in his 40s. Yeah. Which, you know, which isn't a big thing, but like... It was a thing back then. It was like, okay. It wasn't as common Kinda as it is weird. now. It was before the gold digger days, really. And uh, <laughs> this, so he was known all over the town. So nobody knew his name. They just called him the Swingers. So Hillary and Trish were infatuated with the Swingers. The Swingers. Well, the swingers. maybe Hillary was. I'm not <laughs> sure if I, I was. I kind of was. Yeah. I was. What made you so infatuated with him, Hillary? I didn't know swinging was a thing, Mario. You do you remember? Do you remember the keys you leave in the pot in um, that neighborhood? Mm-hmm. And then you would know who you were swinging with that night. Drop your keys in the bucket. What? Drop your know. keys in the bucket. Okay, I was, I'm not involved in this part. In a part certain it. neighborhood, and whoever's keys you picked up, that's who was swinging with. I had no idea about that. No. No. That's a lie. I knew nothing about no, buckets. No, you do know that. No, I knew nothing yeah. about buckets. No. I can't say the name of the name. No, we're not saying the name of the... No, we're not saying the name of the place. That's no. a lie that you don't know about dropping the keys. I did not know that. I'm telling you right now, on my kids, I did not know about this. I mean, I know of that kind of situation, but I didn't know what happened there. I did not know that. Neighborhood right at... Right next to me. Oh, so really? let's get back to the story. So, me, me personally, I've never seen a bucket in my life. <laughs> you don't, you're not swinging, though. Thank no. God. <laughs> you gotta get a whole new wardrobe. You gotta get a new haircut. Oh, I mean, you gotta swing your no, friends. No, you can't no. hang out with your normal friends when you're swinging anymore. No, I'm, not, I'm aware. You lose, no. your, you lose your, no. you lose all your normal friends when you swing. Apparently, so I have Trish and I have Trish and Hillary at my bar on a, a random Monday. The only two people at my bar on a Monday, and then all of a sudden, this, the only two people. These, this gentleman shows up with a, with another female at the other God end of the bar. Is Soul. He did pass away. God rest his soul. He's, oh, he's yeah. dead. Oh, he's yeah. dead. He died. He died a long time ago. So, um, he's on a first Who date. Knew? He's on a first date with his girl because I know the girl because she used to date somebody else I knew. So they're at the end of the bar. They were maybe like seven Miller lights and Coors lights deep, okay. maybe even more. I don't know what they had at Pals before they showed up. So I, I don't. I know what I served them. I Could know have been I 10 or 12 in, Maria. So You're Hillary, right. Hillary's just staring at the guy. She's like, that's him. And I'm like, <laughs> the swinger. Yeah. The swinger. And I'm like, okay, here we go. It's on now. So the guy gets up to go to the bathroom, leaves the girl at the end of the bar. And as he's ready to go to the bathroom, he has to walk by Trish and Hillary. And Hillary just stops him and goes, excuse me. You're that swinger guy. <laughs> and the guy's face just drops. They go, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right. So he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And she's like, we've seen you swing. You're that swinger, right? So then he's like, I don't like, know I don't... I knew what a swinger was at the time. And the guy's trying to defend him. Now, mind you, the whole time, the girl's like, what are they talking about down there? They're, they're literally eight seats apart. It's not even it's a big bar. So he goes, look, you know, maybe you see me bar. on number, numerous dates, but like, you know, I don't really swing. So she goes, no, we've seen you swing. We know you're a swinger. And the guy goes, I just go to the bathroom. What? And I'm no, like, it Hillary was so hard. Unco- no, you this. both did. Now, Trish, you looked him dead in the eye and you were like, no, we know what you do. You swing. And I'm like, this guy was appalled. I'm pretty sure he didn't get a second date from that girl. I'm pretty sure he went back to swinging after that because I kind of felt like he was trying to reform himself as a swinger and go on regular dates. And Hillary and Trish just reminded him that that's what he was born to be, a swinger. Yeah. yeah. And then now, he got thrown yeah. through the window. Oh, he got thrown through the window at the grill for a fight. He got thrown through the window. Is well, that he, when he died? No. No, he died no. years later. But no, he got thrown through the window because he, he was, fighting, hurt, with, it was, no. from, it was fighting with his neighbor. It was a neighbor thing and it happened outside the place. Did he get thrown through the window because he was a swinger? I don't know. Yes. I, I don't know. It wasn't. No, he, he yes. didn't know it. No, it, it was a swinging fight. It was not a swinging <laughs> fight. <laughs> a swinging fight. Yeah. yeah. He was banging some girl. No, it wasn't. It was a neighbor's. I guess they're going to fight because 
<laughs> they were too loud he was in the backyard. Banging the neighbors' wife. No. Wife. He's too loud in the backyard swinging, man. I that think that's what it was, to be honest with you. It was a swinging so, fight. They so weren't fighting it over was a girl. A fight about him swinging. I don't think it was a fight about the fight. They weren't fighting over the girl. They were both trying to bang. It wasn't They're, that. They were fighting because he was a swinger. I think you're just, he, just a loud I think you're neighbor. right now. I think you're just a loud neighbor. I think you're just a loud neighbor. So, I don't know. Have you ever been propositioned to swing, Hillary? No. I have. I know you have, Trish. You, you hang out on boats. <laughs> you, you hang out on a lot of boats, okay? Boat people swing. We all know that. I never, remarkably, no, I never No, this have. is back in college. I had a, I had a friend in the next, from next to me, Plymouth State College. I learned a lot there. You went to Plymouth State College? Yes, did I not know did. that. Did a lot going that. on there. Oh, New Hampshire, I bet. Yeah. Plymouth yep. State's in New Hampshire, correct? Yes, I believe so. in the foothills yeah. of the White I feel Mountains. Like Trish is definitely the person you should ask, and not me. I don't know what terrible geography on yeah. this podcast. So anyway, bad. I bad. ended up having a friend. She was a little bit older, and uh, she asked me to go swing with her and her man. That's not cool. Did she when when she asked you? Did she refer to it as swinging? Like is that no like, no no, no that wasn't a term back I was then. No. I don't know. I mean. I like, mean, yeah, that was back like, in the 80s. Like, 80s. Some, some, no, somebody says, no, like, no. Uh, no. They, 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 they just join us is what they would say. Yeah. Join us, just join, join us. us. Yeah. So Can we talk, talk about Plymouth State College now? What do you want to talk about Plymouth State College? About? What do I met Joe Dudek, who was up for the Heisman Trophy in 1985 or 86. Really? And he was from Plymouth State College. You're trying, trying to tell best me parties. A, you're trying to tell me a Heisman Heisman yes. Trophy candidate try to swing with you? No, no, no. I'm oh. just saying he had oh. good saying, parties you know, and I mean, he was oh. from Plymouth State College, oh. Oh, okay. which is oh, unheard yeah. of. Because I was going to say, that's a story in its own. Yeah, I was going to say. Because everybody around it can say a, a Heisman Trophy candidate <laughs> try to swing with me. Did he win the Heisman Trophy? No, he didn't win. No, no, yeah. he didn't win. no. no but he it was close. unheard of he back close. in the day from Plymouth State College. Oh, yeah. That, I mean, isn't everybody a candidate? No. No, no. Not from Plymouth State College. In the foothills of the White Mountains, no way. What kind of what kind of uh, bars did you hang out with up there in New Hampshire? Um, was it like ski lodge themed kind of places, or was it any summer places? Or I mean, I, well, I but is Plymouth State near the water? No, or is it in the middle. No, Plymouth State is right off of ninety three. Okay, it's south of Waterville Valley, so it's it's literally in the foothills of the White Mountains. Okay, but there was a little river. All right. They, they could um, two men. I just feel like New Hampshire has some great bars because I've been a few times. I don't know the names of the ones I went to because it's so no. Long ago. So you want to hear a funny story? Sure. When I was there, the drinking age was eighteen in Vermont. So okay. they would drive so to, Vermont. to Vermont and just drink over there. Yeah, there were good bars there. Yeah. Don't ask me what they were. Exactly. Cause it, it's in Vermont and New Hampshire. Nobody knows anything about yeah. up there. It's crazy. That's how long ago it was. Now but that was a fun school. She knows bars about New Hampshire? Well, she went to college in New Hampshire. Where did she go to college? She went to uh, Southern New Hampshire University. That's the that one online. That's the one online. They, 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 they have, still went to the bars? They have, That's BS. They have an in-person school, <laughs> goddammit. All right? Like, like, she went to school in person at Southern New Hampshire University. She could have saved, online. She could have saved a lot of money she just did online. I don't... I don't know. I think the tuition's different online. Is it's, it really? Di- if, I mean, if you're getting a dorm in New Hampshire. Well, you missed the just, college experience. Well, experience is one thing, but money is another thing. I mean. So, I could have gone to URI and Plymouth State for the same amount of money. She back did then. go to URI and Southern right. University. Okay. She, did. she, she hit both. Okay. I believe URI was for her master's. Okay. All right, let's get back to bartending. Okay. Bartending. Can so, you guys ask me like what my most embarrassing story is at the okay, first of all, you're just reading my mind right now. That's exactly what I was gonna say. <laughs> I, I Number feel one, like we asked you like an embarrassing thing. What's your most you embarrassing a, story? You, you didn't have a story. Tell us no. the most embarrassing no. moment at Pal's restaurant. No, it's not a Pal. Where was it? Uh, was port. that the airport? At the airport. The, so the, port. Port. the bad stuff happened. The so basically, what you're trying to say is Pal, <laughs> Pal's is just a, a, a haven. The port. Of, the port. No, you she's know. trying to say that <laughs> Pal's is a safety. Haven for her. Safe haven. What's Safe place? haven for her. The yeah. bad stuff happened in the airport. Let's hear it. Obviously, the bad stuff happened in so the airport. So, this is the most the embarrassing moment of my life. Thing. So, they had like this show at the Providence Civic Center, and. 
That is not near the Eddie airport. Money. So Eddie down. Money was there. Eddie Money? I love him. And who was the singer those? who died? Uh, I Great got name. two you tickets to Paradise. No. Yeah. You know his music if you heard it. No, so it was Eddie Money and then those two English guys. I forget their names right now. But so Eddie Money's at the bar crying in his beer, right? Crying into crying his beer. Crying in his beer. About what? Oh, bad times. Has like, been. Yeah. It's a has been. Yeah, but bad he had just shit. played at a show in Providence. So it was him and who Who are the two English guys? Um, what English guys are you talking about? I wasn't Duran, Duran? Not Duran. Duran Duran Duran's from Australia. No, wasn't Duran Duran. Duran Duran's from Australia. I'll think of it in a minute. English guys? Wham. British? Wham. No, nope, not Wham. Wham. Not Wham. Nope. The U2. What was the song? <laughs> Tell me the song. I can't think of them. I'll think of I'll think of them in a minute. Regardless. So anyways, Eddie Money's sitting at the bar, right? I would love to hang out. I would have loved to hang out. 6 a.m. shift. Eddie Money's there. Bars open at 6 a.m.? 6 a.m. Yeah. My oh, shift was 6 to 2. Do you have to be a you have to be a passenger on a plane to get drinks at, yes. at 6 a.m.? You can't just walk in at 6 a.m. and no. have a drink and leave? You have to be. Okay, I didn't know I that. I feel like you could. So they were no, all yeah, playing. I, like it's different. I think it's different now. No, no. I feel like you do it After now. 9-11. No, you can't. After 9-11, can't. they change it. You can't. If you get, if you get Fucking Bin Laden fucked everything up for us. Jesus. So Eddie Money's sitting at the bar with... Who the fuck are the two guys? They're like English guys. Forgot, uh, tell me the Pat, song. Pat, I can Pat tell you who it is. Yeah. That's Simon and Garfunkel. I can't think of the song. Garfunkel. Move past the English guys. So, well, the English guys. Eddie Money orders a draft beer, and what draft I'm pouring it, and I go, I got, and I'm thinking You're Eddie singing Money's. A song to him? I'm thinking Eddie Money's gonna say, two no. tickets to no. paradise, and no. he looks at me. He goes, No, of course <laughs> not. Shook his head at me. <laughs> I was the biggest idiot in the world. 6 a.m. Oh, all right, Eddie Money. Here you go. Have your beer. You hated- said that to him? Yeah. Oh, I hated his guts. After really? That. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. He embarrassed me in yeah, front of I, everybody. I understand How many that, but it's 6, six in the morning. I mean, <laughs> it was Eddie Money and that the two other guys. It two was English a, guys. Yeah. And was there I understand else that, there? but I'm just, it's 6 in the morning. I can understand his, his point of view he on that. He looked at yeah, me like he was so disgusted. Like, yeah. like huh. Eddie, Money, you could have said. <laughs> That's a great fucking story, by the way. How can you never told this to me? <laughs> I can't believe I ha- I've told it to everybody. That's one of the best stories I've ever heard. And then when Eddie yeah. Money died, everyone was posting on my face. Oh, Eddie Money died? <laughs> he died oh, a long dead. time ago. Yeah, he dead. died. And you know what? I loved Eddie Money. God rest his soul, but he was so rude to me. I understand, airport, but it's 6 a.m. It's 6 a.m. It's 6 a.m. Yeah, I went on James Woods, too, yeah. I knew it was probably the same night. I know, but we were talking. I think he left Cal's and they came to the grill. We were talking. Were you talking enough to break out Were you talking enough to break out into song? Yes. That's a bold statement. Yes, we were. Yeah? All right. All I right. hate his guts. <laughs> oh, God. God rest his May he soul. Rest I can't hate peace. someone's God guts who's dead. Soul. Anyway, uh, so he Hillary. He did. His guts. <laughs> Past tense. Hillary, I was so Hillary, mad Hillary, Hillary tried to get, at six in the morning, he handed, she handed a draft beer to Eddie Money, who was a songbird was of about. the generation in the 70s, <laughs> and tried to say two tickets to paradise. I've got. That's like. And see, he shook his that's head. Just, that's just like seeing <laughs> the paradise. That's right. just like seeing MC Hammer and saying you can't touch this. You don't do that. Oh, that, did that I tell you? Yeah. Oh, I waited on DMX too. Asshole. God rest his soul too. <laughs> Hillary <laughs> just hates <laughs> dead musicians. <laughs> like, but, uh, apparently, where my dogs at? I, I kind of feel like if you piss off Hillary at the airport, you die. <laughs> Do not piss up Hillary at your bar. This is the this is the story. No, F D M X. I know we can't talk bad Hold about on. people, but D M X was a total light. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not shocked by that. Yeah. I don't expect him to be a good dude. Do you, had a guy. Do you remember when uh, George Caprio's son dated Paula Abdul? Yes. They're not together no more. No. I don't know. I'm no, out of the loop. I'm years. out of the loop. So you don't I was even at the Paul harbor Abdul side. Is. I was at the oh, harbor side with You know who Paula Abdul is? I know. I name know a Paula Abdul song. I know of her. I don't you know, know of her. You know you can't name a Paula Abdul song? No, no, he wasn't born. What are you talking about? He wasn't, up, he, he 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 wasn't even remember. born when she became obsolete. Oh, God, yes, Noah. Uh, I could be allowed. your mother. I'm just. Uh, you could. Maybe. Uh, How old are you? Um, 25. Uh, 25. I could be your mother. My, yeah, you could. My, both of my parents were I'm older than his dad. 
Well, oh, God. Well, we'll do oh, that. Not in. really. 76. 76 is the year for my parents. So, wait. Uh, Paul and Abdul was at back. Blue. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard this was story. Was at Blue one night. Yeah. So, I'm at the Harborside with my friend. He's like, oh, I got to get over there. I want to meet Paul and Abdul. So, I'm like, all right. So, we go to walk out, finish our beers, go to walk out. And, um... Abdul, this guy out. Noah <laughs> stops us. Not, and not, talks not to our us. co-host. Not, my ears. Stops, not the co-host. Not you, Noah. It definitely wasn't a different Stops Noah. and talks to us now. So my friend is pissed off because now we hear Polar Abdul left. I said straight up, "You mad at me that she left?" <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, that that, that, that no. Eddie Money story is a great story. It reminds me of my friend and Morgan Freeman story. Oh my god! I love yeah, I'm still that pissed off of that story. That Morgan Freeman? Funny. Yeah, oh, Eric. Sorry. Eric, that used to bar to me at the Grill on Main. Well, he married. Same? He married Lynn Lamando- Lauren Lamandola. This was not the same right. Eric that she was talking about earlier. No, right. no. Blonde yeah, Eric. Second. He's Dr. Lamandola's brother-in-law. He married oh, Dr. Lamandola's okay. sister. Yep. He was an extra in the movie Amistad. Yep. That was filmed in uh, Newport. Yep. And during the filming scene, he was an extra. He he was walking in with in the prisoner scene with uh, Morgan Freeman, mm-hmm. and as they were walking, he fuck, he tripped Morgan Freeman, and it fell. And he had Steven Spielberg go, "Okay, cut, stop tripping Morgan Freeman." <laughs> <laughs> and as he's telling me this story, he's told me a million stories. This is the greatest story in the world. Mike, the other bartender, pulls up the scene and you see him standing next to Morgan Freeman dressed up in whatever those outfits were, holding this giant muskrat. And Morgan yeah. Freeman's in shackles. I'm like, you knocked over Morgan Freeman and you took this long to tell me this story? Yeah. It's the greatest story in the world. That Steven, is funny. Steven Spielberg yelled at a fellow bartender of mine as an extra in a movie and he fails to tell me this story. I was upset with him legitimately for like, Months. I would be. He's in. <laughs> they didn't he tell is you. in my phone on the contacts on the knocked over Morgan Freeman. He's not in the phone on the Eric Goldberg. He is in the phone on the knocked over Morgan Freeman. If you don't believe me, I will pull it up. I believe you. Are you sure? That's pretty funny. I feel like we're not. Video. Noah, have you so. ever met anybody famous bartending? Uh, Vinny Paz. Vinny Paz. Oh, Vinny Paz. Oh, Vinny Paz. God. I used Love to go Vinny to Paz. Barry's, Barry's, Barry's. Vinny with Paz, Vinny Paz, if you're listening, we'd love to have you on the podcast some night. He's uh, not that famous. He's famous he us. He's my love. Want me to give you another famous, famous We had you that We do have to wrap this up, but it must be a quick one. Let's do it. All right. Well, why do you so, air quote famous? Well, because it was oil can Boyd. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a great story because no, oil can Boyd is <laughs> nuts. Anybody know who so, I know exactly who oil Red can Boyd is. Oil can Boyd comes into the bar. He pitched in the 1986 World Series for the Red Sox. Wait, so pitcher. Okay. Yes. So oil this is can the best. Win. So oil can comes into the box. <laughs> is that Fridays? Okay. <laughs> no, at the port. At the port. Yeah. Fridays, Fridays at the, at the port. port. Yeah. yeah. So oil can comes in. He's sitting down. So I have no idea who he is. Everyone recognizes him. Okay. Oil can. You should not know who he is because you you went around back then. Okay. Right. So I don't know. Oil who he is. can. So they're all like oil can, oil can. I end up getting my picture taken. <laughs> you get a picture taken with oil can, but we have no idea who he is. Yeah. 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 So People are excited. You take a picture, buddy. They, so <laughs> they're all the like, I don't know. <laughs> Dude, how you doing? And he's like, oh, I cleaned up my act. It's like, apparently yeah, he, he, he was he, like he a crackhead. He was a big drug like, addict. Picture. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right, right. So this is the best. So he's like, oh, I cleaned up my act. I'm teaching my boys like baseball and Pawtucket. Da, 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 da. All of a sudden, the cops come walking by. His Louis Vuitton bag. The cops... Take it, confiscate it. They take oil can <laughs> out with them. Do you know what, it, what was in the bag? Oh, oil can got restrained. They okay. went through the whole bag. The dogs, so he left his Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> the <laughs> the dogs smelled drugs in it. Okay. And Cocaine. They took him it? back yes. in, and then they couldn't find anything in the bag. So then Oil Can is sitting at the bar like three hours later, all pissed off. He's like, they took my bag, blah, blah, blah. The dog's got it. So they smelled something, but they couldn't really get anything in it. So he had drugs in it before and used them, and the smell was still in it. Allegedly. 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 Uh, According to Oil Can, no. 
Because they couldn't hold him on any <laughs> That's a funny so story right there. He was at your bar. I would love to have been there for Oil that. Can Oil can. Oil can. Oil can, if you're listening, we'd love to have you on the podcast some night. <laughs> yes. But uh, most likely it's never going to happen. Nope. Yeah, no. Oil can was definitely not in trouble, but uh, Oil can, yes. That's awesome. Come in. <laughs> anyway, we're going to have to wrap this up. Ladies, thank you for finally joining us on Late Night Sauce. Uh, we are drinking Kettle One Vodka tonight, and the girls are drinking beers because we can't give them vodka. Miller Light. Miller Light, Coors Light, but uh, Kettle One is still the unofficial sponsor of Late Night Sauce. Uh, feel it free is. to... Feel free to cut us a check anytime you want. We probably are. After this podcast, I guarantee we're going to hit a million viewers after this. We got. We right? got some crazy stories. We're, gonna have to get these, we're getting you guys back on again because we got yeah. some stories. So. Special guests. Thank you, girls, for joining us. And uh, all you listeners Thank you, out Mario. there. Thank you, Mario. Thank listen, you, Mario li- and Noah. Noah. Oh, yeah. All your listeners Noah. out there, if you see Oil Kin Boy, don't ask him what happened in the bag, okay? <laughs> His Louis Vuitton bag. That is awesome. That's a great story. (laughs) Oh, my God. Hey.